Oh, you're that agent. I see you everywhere. In real estate marketing, that's the magic phrase. Because what it means is your marketing, your branding has somehow taken a hold. It means that you're top of mind. But here's the challenge. Being top of mind is actually really, really difficult to do because people are very busy. They're inundated with a bunch of stimulants and things going on around them. And they're ignoring stuff like crazy. I think about what Seth Godin said, that in a world where we face too many choices and too little time, the easiest thing to do is to just ignore stuff. When somebody's online searching through the web, they're not paying attention or looking out for banner ads. When they're on social media, on Instagram or Facebook, whatever, as they're scrolling through their feeds, they're not necessarily looking out for your posts. They're just doing the thing they're doing because there's all this stuff going on around them and it's really hard to focus on the right thing. In fact, neuroscience tells us this, that in every single moment of every day, minute by minute, second by second, there are roughly 11 million bits of information vying for your attention and vying for my attention. Like literally in every moment of every day, there's 11 million bits of stuff happening around you and it's saying, hey, look over here, look at me, this is all, oh, look at this, look here, woohoo, trying to get your attention. But the problem is that you and I, our brains can only do about 50 bits at a time. So do the math, 11 million bits, moment by moment, every day, and our brains can literally only comprehend like 50 bits at a time. Which means, if you do the math, that you, you and I are walking through life minute by minute, day by day, moment by moment, pretty much oblivious to everything going on around us. That's our reality, and it's tiring, right? It's a whole lot to keep up with. But consider this, retargeting ads, Retargeting ads have about 10 times the click-through rate as your regular run-of-the-mill standard first-time audience ads. 10 times. Wow, that's interesting. Now, what's a retargeting ad? Retargeting means that I am actually targeting my advertisement at an audience because they've had some prior interaction with other marketing I've already done. It means this isn't their first rodeo. They're seeing something again for the second, third, fourth, fifth, whatever time versus a first-time audience where it's cold. It's they don't know me yet. So what's, what's the meaning of that, Jason? What does all that lead up to? Well, it tells me that familiarity and the frequency of your marketing actually really matter. That it takes time to gain somebody's attention and you gotta stay at it over and over and over again, but we know that, right? We know that you can't just do like one postcard on my farm and that, that was good. I did it, we're done. Or one video on Instagram, where's my leads? Where's my business? It doesn't work that way. We all know that it takes repetition over and over and over again for any kind of marketing to really pay off. And this is part of why, because there's so much going on that we're ignoring stuff around us. But let's go back to the neuroscience brainy, nerdy stuff for a second. How is it our brains know what to pay attention to? I mean, there's 11 million bits of stuff going on every moment of every day. We pay attention to 50 bits at a time. How does our brain know what to call to our attention so we can consciously deal with it? And there's a process in your brain known as the reticular activating system. The reticular activating system, what it does is it calls to your mind anything that's a part of your focus so that you can pay attention to it. So think of it like this, like, oh, tapping on the shoulder, look at that over there. Look, 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 that's the car you were talking about buying driving down the road. Oh, look at that over there, look at that. It calls to mind all the stuff that's been a part of your focus. And so what you focus on expands, that's the saying. Now let's, let's apply that to a marketing spin for just a moment. What it means is, when somebody sees your email or they see a post on social or they see an ad from you, whatever it is, if they see any kind of marketing from you, that means that from that moment going forward, they're more likely to see the next one. And then because they saw the next one, they're more likely to see the next one and it creates this snowball effect. Why? Because it is being ingrained and reinforced as part of the focus. So if I keep seeing your ads, I am compelled and I am conditioned to then keep seeing more of your ads because it became a part of my focus. If you think about it like this, if I see enough of your marketing over time, you almost program somebody to be looking out for more marketing from you. Emails, social posts, whatever. Now, by the way, this is why your stuff should be matchy-matchy. I've talked about that before, because if I don't make the association, even at a subconscious level, that, oh, that email is from the same person whose ad this is, whose billboard that is, if I can't tie those things together and make the connections, it's not reinforcing this part of my focus, but here's the principle I want you to hear, and then I'm gonna move on. Focus matters. If you wanna enter into people's frame of focus, you have to be repetitious in your marketing. They have to keep seeing it again and again and again because it takes a while to break through the noise and that's why you wanna hear, oh, I see you everywhere, you're that agent because that means you did it. You broke through the noise and you have their attention and attention isn't easy to gather. Now, let's go one step deeper. One step deeper, there's another part of your brain called the fusiform gyrus. I know, it's a big word. I, I, had, to, I had to YouTube the word so I could say it right. The fusiform gyrus. 
And what this part of your brain does, I remember I read about it, I was reading a book from Malcolm Gladwell called Blink, and he brought it up and I never forgot about it. So I was researching it just to prep for this video today. What the fusiform gyrus does, or rather uh, how it gets activated, is when you see another person's face. It's the part of your brain that lights up on an MRI when you're looking at another human being's face. Now, if I'm looking at a regular object like my phone or something like that, it's not the same thing. You see, like I look at an object in a different part of my brain than when I look at somebody's face. And the fusiform gyrus is more complex, more sophisticated, more nuanced. It also gets activated, this is interesting to me, it also gets activated when you're looking at, a, at an object that fits within your field of expertise. So for example, like if I'm an architect, then I may look at houses or buildings with a lot more nuance and uh, uh, sophistication than the average person because I'm an architect. And it is my fusiform gyrus through which I am making those associations and doing that analysis. In other words, this part of your brain processes more deeply. So here's the point. And this isn't that complicated, really. Here's the point. Put your face in videos and photos on social media and in your ads and everywhere. Because guess what? We know that through the reticular activating system, we have to have repetition, right? I have to keep putting my marketing in front of people and they have to make the association that it's my marketing so I can build up that attention. I can build up that mind share and get to the point where people say, I see you everywhere. We know that. But the second thing is like, make sure your face is in there because when they see you, your face, not your logo, not the colors. I mean, that stuff's great. But when they see your face on video, on photos, everywhere, the level of association is much deeper, much stronger. And in a way, it helps you cut the line to gaining that mind share in the marketplace. Put your brand everywhere, put your face everywhere, and you're gonna build up to where people keep saying, you're that agent. I see you everywhere.